Triantafilos Mavinas comes to us from Athens, Greece, with a record of 6-0 and and 5 KOs. He fights tonight in an eight-round bout for the ABO championship fight at 160 pounds, I'm sorry, 168, against Jose Hernandez of Lancaster, California. Hernandez comes to us with a record of 19, 5, 1, and 9 KOs. Rumor, rumor has it, we have some pretty big people watching this fight in, in the Philippines. There's a whole connection that I was told about. Apparently Manny Pacquiao is watching this right now. Uh, Manny, if you're watching, uh, go ahead and say hi to Fight Club OC, Soka Fights. Our friend Charles Bozaker is tuning in. Already Hernandez is coming out, trying to sort of steal some of the thunder from Mavidas. Mavidas in the, I want to say the gray trunks. Black, and, red, black with red trim. Uh, no, that would be uh, Hernandez. Mavidas, is it, is it gray, is it black? We'll yeah, say black, black and white. Black and silver, black and white? Yeah, we'll say, we'll say black and white. Our friend Jose Hernandez coming to us in the black and red. Already people are talking. Vinny Mulho wants to know about Stephen McKenna. Stephen McKenna already fought. He knocked out Keola Helm in, I want to say, the first. Yeah, in about 90 seconds. So he came all the way from Hawaii and unfortunately for Helm was stopped in 90 seconds. Haley Highcock is very excited about seeing Alondria Brown from Los Angeles. We're going to have that fight later tonight. Mavidas <laughs> is unloading, nice. unloading nice a bit. Shot. That body shot hurt him. That body shot definitely hurt him a little bit. Uh, he took the shot and uh, immediately grabbed for the clinch and is definitely trying to slow the fight down a little bit. Oh, I see. Oh, the problem is that we went back to the Both old guys day. throwing heat yeah, out here tonight. There's some good two-way action in the center of the ring. I'll go over there and I'll just signal to you. And we have our promoter also in the center of our broadcast. <laughs> Mavidas going to the body. He continues on the inside to, to go to the body of Hernandez. You know, he, he probably read that that, that first uh, really hard right hand to the body hurt him. Probably just trying to go back to that well. He's seen it was definitely effective. That's what, uh, when, when he landed the shot, that's when Hernandez started to you know, try to close the distance and uh, slow the fight down a little bit. Something tells me that Mavidas would like to get a big knockout tonight, and I only say that because in his last bout, he fought at the hangar for us. He went eight rounds, nothing wrong with going the distance. I just think he wants to, yeah, you know, know. Yeah, definitely get some, uh, you know, build his stock back up as a finisher. But that's probably what he needed, you know, a really tough fight. He had a really uh, a really tough fight, and you know, some of these guys young as they're young in their career, when they start to see if they can deal with uh, better opposition, they need those tests, so it was good for him. And uh, Vinny Moho, don't feel bad about missing the Stevie McKenna fight. You didn't get a chance to start the stream. We didn't get a chance to well, start you, the stream. You know, if you uh, if you blinked, you missed it anyway. So <laughs> even if you're here in the building and you blinked or maybe uh, took a sip of your drink, you missed the fight as well. <laughs> I'm seeing that we have something from a Polis Mavidas. I'm assuming that's in some way connected to this fight. I can't read what it says, but I'm assuming it's positive, and I'm sure that... To Triantafilos very much appreciates your sentiments. As you can tell, we're doing things a little bit differently tonight. We've gone back just for tonight and maybe some other nights to our old way of doing it. But Curtis and I are versatile, and you know, you give us lemons. Yeah, we make lemonade. <laughs> lemonade and uh, lemonade margaritas and everything you can make out of lemons. Well, we are, we are, we are, yeah, we are definitely in, in, in that vicinity. I mean, the back of your head is just hit. Fighters come out now in the in the center of the ring. You know, there was a short left hand on the inside that got Mavidas' attention. 
Uh, he's getting hit with that same left hook. Every time he drops and goes to the body, that's when he's getting hit with that left hook. I was informed that there is an actor from Greece who is here tonight, Panos Vlohos. Apparently, he is the Greek Brad Pitt. <laughs> and he came tonight specifically to this to this event so that he could cheer on his countryman Triantafilos Mavidas. Thank you, thank you, Carol. We're happy to hear that you were able to see that fight. Her Hernandez comes through with a big right hand on the chin of Mavidas that doesn't phase him at all. I give Hernandez this. If Mavidas came out to try to make a statement, Hernandez has certainly held his ground and doesn't seem to be phased by the fact that this is a very pro Mavidas event. Yeah, you know, and that just goes to show you, know, it's, it's, it's not everybody wants to be the, the nail every time. Uh, and he's, he's showing that he's not, he didn't come out here to be the, the nail. He wants to be the hammer. And he wants to try to take this fight, take some of this thunder. Um, you know, and, and he is definitely taking it to Mavitas. Hernandez is in the black and red. Mavitas is in the black and white. Oh, Mavitas hits him. I, I didn't get to see that that punch, but it, but it, it seemed it, to... It started with a straight right. Okay. That whole flurry started with a straight right. Oh, nice right hand by uh, Hernandez. You know, if possible, we'd like to zoom in for everyone who's watching out there in Facebook land. If you guys can, please, please share this, share this broadcast. Tell, tell your friends we're going to maybe try to get a little bit more creative as the night goes on with the direction and with the angle of the broadcast. We just don't want to cut off too much of the action. And another round is in the books. That was the second round. I believe that Mavitas took it. And like we said, this is an eight round super middleweight bout for the ABO championship. I have not heard of the ABO. I believe that they're, I believe that they're a new organization, but without getting too much on my soapbox, I will say this. As long as they have one champion per division and don't have multiple silver and interim champions and franchise champions, I'm gonna be okay with them. Anything that helps the fighters, I'm okay with. Haley Sneed rooting on her friend Alondria Brown. Brown fights in our fourth bout, so we have two more to go after this bout with Triantafilos Mavidas in the black and white trunks versus Jose Hernandez in the black and red. Mavidas comes to us, as you know, from Athens, Greece. Hernandez comes to us from Lancaster, California. Oh, and Mavidas goes, tempting fate there with that, with that left hook. Straight a little towards the belt line. You know, right now Hernandez is is affecting Mavitas with his with his jab and with that straight right hand. That straight right, he, he's definitely landed 
a lot, and he definitely got to hit Mavides' attention with it. Right now, he's kind of walking Mavides down. He's bullying him in the corner. He he seems to physically be giving M Mavides a bit of trouble. So, yeah, I, this is definitely the uh, the most we've ever seen Mavides uh, being walked down or going backwards. Yeah, I mean, I I want to say that when he first came to us at the uh, at the uh, hangar, he was just blowing out his his opponent. Straight right again. And he is coming yeah. closer and closer to landing at flush on the chin of Mavitas. And Mavitas, you know, we've seen him take shots before. We know he can take punches, and right there, he strung a few good shots together. The, pro the problem is, Hernandez can also take those punches. And he's <laughs> smothering the shots of Mavitas, like he's forcing him to fight in close. Thank you to Carol McKenna. Thank you so much. You know, the more the more you share these broadcasts, the bigger it gets, the more global it gets. Thank you very much for, for sharing our current broadcast live from the Gardens Casino Fight Night in beautiful Hawaiian Gardens, California, taking place at the event center. Andrea Petty has logged on saying hi to Brendan. Brendan, we say hi to you too. We're now entering round four of this eight round super middleweight title bout, ABO title, between Triantafilos Mavidas and Jose Hernandez in the 168 pound division. Andrea Petty rooting on Aaron Moses. He'll be, he'll be fighting later tonight in our sixth bout versus Thomas Garcia, MMA. That's the beauty of this show is that it's a, a hybrid. You get boxing, you get MMA. Best of both worlds. Best of both, exactly the best of both worlds. Curtis, I'm not gonna lie, I think we're doing okay now. I think we got our legs under us. I think we got our legs under us. We can breathe now. Well, you class up the broadcast anyway. So, so I mean, if this is just me doing it. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate <laughs> that, you know? I mean every word. I can never get too many compliments. And that was a nice left hook landed by Mavides. Right now, as you see, we have the fighters in the center of the ring. Triantafilos Mavides in the black and white trunks. Jose Hernandez in the black and red. Yep, Daffy's having his time to shine. We're, we're, we're very thankful to all, all of our viewers all over the world. This is truly a global effort. It's truly a global show tonight. We have fighters from all parts of the globe. Japan, Greece, Compton. It's, it's going to be... It's we're gonna, all here. We are, we're, we're, we're all represented. Oh, nice, nice right uppercut to the stomach from Mavitas. I want to say I believe that Mavitas won the first two rounds. I think that Hernandez took the third. And right now, Mavitas seems to be reasserting himself in the fourth. It looks like there's a little bit of swelling over the right eye, or sorry, the left eye of uh, Hernandez. But he's definitely bringing it to Mavides. He's not backing down. Even even the exchanges when Mavides is uh, is landing a bigger shot, you don't see Hernandez backing down from him. Nice jab. 
We seem to be having an interesting side conversation happening in this Facebook Live broadcast of people telling each other that they're beautiful. There's just a lot of good sentiments happening on this broadcast. Curtis now, our, 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 our color commentator is, is <laughs> right? Is that your role? Yeah, that's your role. I was making sure I'm saying that right. <laughs> In the main event tonight, to answer your question, Mr. Ryan, is Michael Norado from Los Angeles, California, with a record of 7-0 and and two KOs in a six-round, 135-pound bout against Haratsugu Yamamoto of Tokyo, Japan. Comes to us with a record of 20, 14, 3, and 4 KOs. Round number four is in the books. I'm not gonna lie, folks, this broadcast a little all over the place tonight. We're just doing our best to keep up with it. I can't. But the problem is, we'll lose. This is a good spot, though. I feel like we're getting a lot. We got the whole ring. Well, we are halfway through this ABO championship fight between Triantafilos Mavidas from Athens, Greece versus Jose Hernandez of Lancaster, California. It's a 168 pound bout. And so far, so far it's fairly, it's fairly even. Although, although I think Mavidas sent something in the last round. He's come out with a bit more spark and fire in this, the fifth round. Aliko Sill, thank you very much for tuning in. So far, it looks like Daffy is doing pretty good tonight, although we'd be lying if we didn't say that Jose Hernandez has made him fight. That was a, that was a trip. That was a, that was a slip. Very, very slow slip. <laughs> it was a delayed slip. Yeah. I'm sure that probably gave our contingent in Greece a bit of pause as they saw their local hero, Mavidas, slip. Now, and, and even with Mavidas, I'm just reading the body language and the facial expressions. Uh, this is definitely the most uncomfortable we've seen him yes. here. Hernandez is pushing him tonight. And it's good. It's good to see him doing that. And let's be honest, he's fighting for a championship. We don't want to see him just walk in and dismantle this guy. starting to open up with the left hand now. Not only just the right hand, but he's even coming at him with the left hand. A lot of uh, uh, leading with the left hook. You know, Hernandez landed a really good right hand on Mavides. And it's, you know, like, like you said, Curtis, we have not seen Mavides this uncomfortable one thing that you know I do know about this about this this sport and and he comes in and, and Hernandez something happened something happened to Mavidas the pace of his output the pace of how he's fighting is slow almost flat it, it, yeah e exactly and he uh, where Hernandez he's definitely feigning a lot he's using his jab he's boxing right now he's doing what we normally see Mavidas do to everybody else right that's what's happening to him right now he's feigning He's using the jab, he's faking, he, he's making him be the stink. And he's timing that right hand and he's landing it. One thing that Mabita seems, and I'm, I'm just commentating on, on this, seems like he could use a bit of work on his uh, head movement. Yeah. Because just, even just moving his feet too, defensively moving his feet. Right. 
And when you say defensively moving his feet, can you elaborate on that a little more? Uh, a, a lot of guys will just move their heads. Oh, so that Instead they're of moving their feet. so that they're and not. That's when they still get hit. That's when you get hit with the second and third punch. Gotcha, gotcha. So you miss the first one because you're moving your head, and the second and third you're still there because you planted your feet. Yep. Gotcha. To those that are tuning in late, Stephen McKenna scored a first round knockout over Kialoa Helm of Hilo, Hawaii. I hear it was quick, I hear it was decisive. Corey Allred has made a bold claim. Says Mavitas is clocked out two rounds ago. I, I, I agree. I definitely agree, Corey. He definitely, the, his pace has slowed down. He's, on the land and maybe two or three big shots around. It looks like he's trying to put, turn up the pace a little bit now, but you know it is the beginning of the round. We'll see what, how it looks in about 30, 45 seconds. We are in the sixth round of this eight round bout. Mavitas is in the black and white trunks. Hernandez is in the black and red. That's Jose Hernandez and Tria Tenfilos Mavitas. One thing that I'm noticing is that Hernandez is letting his hands go, and he just clocked Mavidez with a left that, hand. That left hook again. It, it's been money for him in the last three rounds. And there it is again. Yeah, Mavidez is definitely getting pushed. And we still have a long way to go in this in this fight. For the rest of this round, we have two more two more rounds. Curtis, if you were in the corner of Mavitas, you've said to me you couldn't be a trainer because you're too emotional. If you're in the corner of Mavitas, what are you, what are you saying to him in between rounds? You know, to, to get back what he's to get back to what he's used to doing, boxing, using his jab, setting up the big shots. It, he he's he's waiting around, waiting to counter with big shots instead of creating his opportunities himself. Very very true. Very, very true. And, and move that feet and move those, move your feet and keep that right hand up so you stop getting hit with the same damn punch. <laughs> <laughs> if you're making a mistake, stop making the mistake. Yes, sir. Well, once again, Soka Fights presents the Garden Casino Fight Night live from the Gardens Casino in beautiful Hawaiian Gardens, California. We're in the second bout of the evening. Trienta Filos Mavidas versus Jose Hernandez, an eight round super middleweight bout for the ABO Championship. Mavitas keeps getting hit flush in the corner. And these are from punches that he can see coming because Her Hernandez, I want to say a couple of times, has rushed in with those shots, yeah. almost running. He's just not moving. Like you said earlier, he's, he's fighting like he's flat. Not moving, and when he is moving, not really moving out of the way too much. You know, it's one thing when you're starting out in the first first few fights, you're scoring knockouts, making people excited about you. But now he's at a point, especially fighting for titles, where there's expectations. And to know that so much of his country is is watching him and the eyes are on and the eyes are on him, it's 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 gotta be somewhat daunting. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like you know these last three to four rounds that he's that he's lost. I think he needs these new his next two rounds to win this fight. Well, someone just said Mo Zeltz is saying Jose with the win. I I agree. If, if the if the fight keeps continues at this pace where it's going right now, um, we we may see Hernandez move getting away with the upset. Jamie Booth is in agreement, says that Hernandez is outboxing Mavitas. Corey Allred, so there's a growing contingent. I'm sure that our fans in Greece probably have something to say about that. And one thing that Mavitas has to be conscious of, he's throwing out that jab, 
He's got to be conscious of the fact that Hernandez in the black and red is certainly looking to, to counter that. Mavides is fighting, and Mavides just gets countered with, a, with an overhand right. Mavides is in the white and black. Alexos, Alec, Alexo Sil, I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong, saying that it's saying that it's not not over. Oh, trust me, we have not given up on Mavitas. It's just when you're used to seeing him be Superman, you kind of you know take a bit of a pause when you realize this guy really is mortal. We got a clash of heads and we got a, a cut over the, the left eye of Hernandez from the headbutt. And that, that really slowed him down. That definitely affected him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, his um his entire way that he's throwing punches, the way he's carrying himself is just off. I wonder if that clash of heads has affected him more, you know, equilibrium wise yeah. than, than anything else. Definitely, definitely. The, the sting and the burn and the dizziness that comes with a cut, especially from a headbutt, uh, definitely can distract you a little bit. And then factor in you're still getting hit in the head. Yeah, exactly. I don't know that I've ever seen a fighter ask for time after being hit in the head like that. I'm assuming that they'd probably just stop the fight. Yeah. Call timeout. That's still that's still a lot. You can't call timeout. Mavitas is certainly taking advantage of this. Now he's the one pushing Hernandez to to the ropes, going going to the body. Oh, he's continuing to to go to the body, and he's busting him up on the inside now. That's the one thing Hernandez wasn't letting him do this before. Well, Curtis, you said Mavitas needed both both rounds. He's well on his way to winning this one here. Go get him. And Mavitas needs to be careful. While he's talking to the ref, Hernandez is going to pop off and hit him. Those body shots Mavitas landed this round have definitely helped him, definitely slow Hernandez down. But I think more credit to that headbutt than any of those punches. Yeah. The, the, the tenor and the way that Jose Hernandez is carrying himself in that seventh round certainly bears, bears that out. And we're heading into the eighth round of this eight round ABO championship fight between Trion Tofilos Mavides and Jose Hernandez. Mavides with a record of six and zero. Oh. He wants to be seven and zero. Oh. And Jose Hernandez, 19-5-1 with nine KOs. We said before this fight in the buildup to it, Jose Hernandez comes with the best ledger of any fighter that Mavitas has faced, and Hernandez is fighting like it. Alexo Sil, never be sorry for the Greek language. We love seeing it on here. All are welcome. Isn't that right, Curtis? It's, it's all welcome. It is all welcome, always. As long as you're commenting, good or bad, we at Soka Fights are happy to have you on the broadcast. And once again, we are presenting this at the Garden Casino Fight Night, live from the Gardens Casino in Hawaiian Gardens, California. Mavita just had a real nasty three or four punch combination and hit him with every single strike. But now Hernandez has gone back to bullying him into the ropes and smothering his punches. If he wants this fight, that's what he has to do. Oh, and he just landed a right hand.
I've noticed that Mavidis is holding his hands higher. Except right there. Should be. If he's not being as busy as he as he was, or not just as defensive responsible as he was before. Oh, and he just walked into a really hard left left counter left hand. His face is slowly becoming a, a bloody mess. Looks like we got a cut on the bridge of the nose. May, maybe having a broken nose. And he's uh, he's fighting through it though. Jose Hernandez in the black and red and Trian Tafilos Mavidas in the black and white. These two warriors have had a very, very entertaining eight round fight. Win or lose, both, both guys' stock has risen in this fight. Alondra Brown, I'm sorry, Alondria Brown is our fifth fight. She fights in two more fights. We have Danny Garcia versus Oh, sorry, she's our fourth. She's, she fights in one more fight. Thank you to Curtis. That's why I'm here. See, Rebecca Graham knows, knows the card better than, better than me. Very, very entertaining bout. Both fighters raise their, raise their hand. I got to be honest, I think Mavitas edged it out. It was a tough fight. I think he edged it out. I wouldn't. I wouldn't cry either way. Coke. Oh, oh. What do you, you need any? Bless you. Sorry, I was getting a uh, order in for a uh, Coke. My partner, Curtis, bringing it for me. The refs are currently tallying their, their scorecards. So we're waiting to see who wins. Do, can anybody tell me the, the result of the Adam Con Conwaki Chris Ariola fight that happened earlier on the PBC? I was kind of watching it, checking in and out, but I never got to see the fight. Ariola says if he doesn't win, he's going to retire. Mavidas walks around. No, Hernandez is walking around, raising up his, raising up his hand. Jeff Kruger's here to see Rebecca Andrews. She's in our fourth fight in one more fight. Before that, we have Danny Garcia versus Latko Ledek. So, so Sebastian, who do you give the, the, the fight to? You have 118, 110, 117, 111 twice. Oh, so Kamwaki just won by unanimous decision. Gotcha. I'm so sorry. I thought you were giving a scorecard for this fight. I'm thrown off tonight. All right, we come in for the decision. Welcome, Ryan, from Miami, Florida. Alondria is the fourth fight. One more bout after this. 
Judge Ray Corrales scores the fight 77 to 75 for Hernandez. Judge Ray Corrales sees it 77 to 75 from Avidas. And Judge Michael Bell scores it 77 to 75 for the winner by split decision. A new champion and still undefeated. No problem, Sebastian. And as you can see, Triantafilos Mavides has won an eight-round decision over Jose Hernandez.